Hi everyone, this is Nick, and I'm coming to you today from a new uh, geographic location. I recently moved to Seattle from Denver. If you are in the Seattle area, I hope that you will reach out and get in touch. Let's have coffee. Uh, we can talk about DataViz, PowerPoint, and YouTube. Um, I am also just going to be a house husband for a while. My partner, We moved here because my partner got a job, and so uh, I'm going to kind of take a little break and focus on uh, making content here on YouTube for you. So I hope that you will share, subscribe, do all the things uh, to help me produce some of these videos. I also wanted to say happy Pi Day to everyone who observes and celebrates 3.14 uh, March 14th. You'll see a lot of uh, pie chart posts, I think, from the DataViz community online if you follow DataViz on Twitter or Instagram uh, or TikTok. And I actually wanted to add my, uh, throw my hat in the ring here on Pi Day and see if we could create a pie chart using ChatGPT. So I'm kind of late to the game when it comes to ChatGPT. I know everyone's been talking about it. You can use it for a million different things. Some things are good, some things are kind of problematic. Uh, but I wanted to see if ChatGPT could help me make a uh, pie chart in PowerPoint, not just any pie chart, a 3D exploding pie chart. And here's the huge disclaimer, never ever make a 3D exploding pie chart. They are horrible. 3D charts distort your data, uh, but it's just kind of funny and a little bit of a joke, a cheeky joke uh, in the data viz world. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT if it can make me a 3D or if it can teach me how to make a 3D exploding pie chart in PowerPoint. So let's go to ChatGPT. If you are in ChatGPT, you can just go right here, click on the try ChatGPT button down below. You might have to create a free account uh, with your email address, but that's pretty easy. So you're going to get to the screen here, and I'm going to ask it. I'm going to say, hey, can you give me the steps to make a 3D, oops, 3D exploding pie chart in PowerPoint? All right, let's see. I wonder if I put a question mark. Who cares? All right, I'm going to say that, and it's going to give me the question prompt at the top, and now it's going to think, and now it's going to spit out all of the steps to make a pie chart. So sure, here are the steps to make a 3D exploding pie chart in PowerPoint. Now I'm going to go ahead and just wait for it to finish, and once it finishes all of the steps, this is so interesting, and I also think it might put some uh, data viz uh, folks like me out of business one day, uh, but that's okay. The human touch, there's never an excuse, uh, any sort of replacement for the human touch and the human eye, you know? So what, is, what this is going to do is once it's finished with all the steps, I'm actually going to copy these steps and I'm going to move them over to my PowerPoint slide in the presenter notes section so that while I'm working, I can kind of go step by step and really use uh, the steps exactly as ChatGPT intended. So I think it's going to be almost finished. We're getting to the format data point pane there. Number 10, repeat step 7 through 9 through each slice. You want to explode. Finally, you can add a title to the chart by clicking on the placeholder. All right, I haven't actually asked it to do this uh, exact thing quite yet. So I'm going to copy and paste these, and we're just going to walk through the steps step by step together. So I'm going to go up to the top here. I'm going to go ahead and just copy all of these. Control C. We're going to go over to my empty PowerPoint slide, and I'm going to put them right down here in the presenter notes. If you don't know about presenter notes, this is a great section that I highly recommend that you use. You can put presenter notes here, but I often also, as a designer, I'll put notes to uh, my clients or to my audience there who are looking at my designs, just kind of giving uh, a few little tips or uh, a few little action steps or items um, for the, uh, the design that you put on the slide. Pretty cool. Okay, so step number one, open PowerPoint and insert a new slide. I already did that. I already have that right here on the screen. Click on the Insert tab on the ribbon. Let's see, I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. Okay, click on the Insert tab on the ribbon and select Chart from the Illustration Groups. So let's see, where are my charts? Okay, there's Insert tab and there are my charts. Where are my charts? This is I'm looking at a new screen today, so it's a little bit different. Okay, so I think we have charts right here. I'm going to go ahead and click on Charts from the Illustrations Group. And let's see, what was step number three? In the Insert Chart, dialog box, select pi from the list, okay, I'm going to select pi from the list, and choose the one with 3D option. All right, so there's my 3D option right here, and I'm going to click OK. As I do that, my beautiful 3D pie chart pops up onto the screen. Okay, cool. And then also it opens the source Excel uh, file, which is going to be how this chart is created with the data behind the scenes. So click OK to create the basic chart. Step five. Next, click on the chart to select it, and then click on the design tab 
on the ribbon. Okay, what I'm actually gonna do here, we're gonna close out of that, click on the chart, and then click on the design tab, chart design tab on the ribbon. All right, click on the chart. Okay, number six, in the chart styles group, click on the change colors button and choose a color scheme that you like. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so it's gonna give me this. I can click on these and I wonder if I do any of this stuff, it's going to just highlight, oh, everything, so pretty cool. I already like this uh, color palette that I have. It's uh, my specific colors. Okay, number seven. Now to make the chart explode, click on one of the pie slices to select it. Okay, I'm gonna click on the large blue one here. And I actually know, well, let's see, so any of the slices, okay, let's see, let's go up here. I'm gonna expand this just a little bit. Now to make the chart explode, click on one of the pie slices to select it. Right click on the selected slice and choose format data point. Okay, so it's selected. I'm gonna right click on this, format data series. Uh, so what it didn't tell me is that you really need to actually isolate one of the slices and you need to double click to do that. So you can't just click, you have to click twice. So I'm gonna go back here, I'm gonna click one more time on the blue. So now you see just the blue slice is, is highlighted and we're gonna right click and say format data point. Okay, now number eight, right click, okay, format data point from the context, number nine. In the format data point pane that appears, go to the series options tab and enter a value in the explosion field. Ah, okay, so this is where I can update the angle of the slice and the point explosion. So let's just go ahead and update this. Uh -huh. So everything explodes and it explodes on just that slice. So what if I, if I wanted to explode other slices, I think I could probably do the same thing, just isolate one, uh, isolate the next one since that one is isolated if I click on another slice that's going to automatically do that and then I can do a little bit of a explosion right there let's click on this one do a little bit of an explosion there wow this can really be dangerous as you see why we would never ac ever uh, visualize data in an actual exploding pie chart but anyway okay so there's <laughs> there's a little bit of uh, some really uh, explosions there okay let's see um, Okay, number 10, repeat step seven through nine for each slice that you want to explode. Okay, so I already did that. And finally, you can add a title to the chart by clicking on the placeholder text and typing in your own title. So we already know that all the charts default to have a title. I'm gonna go ahead and just delete that. I don't want it because I already have a title on my slide or I would have a title on my slide. And then the legend here. So let's see if it says that finally, um, you can add a title to chart and a placeholder. It doesn't tell me to do anything with the legend or anything like this. So I could have, um, let's just make this really bad and put the legend on the top. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just do that. First quarter, second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter. That's the default sort of canned data that I wanted, uh, that I had. Now what this doesn't tell me to do, let's see if I go down a little bit. It says finally that's it. So it doesn't really tell me to edit um, the data or to input the data that I actually have. So if you had data, you would just right click and then select edit data. Since you built this chart in PowerPoint, the Excel source data pops up. And that was the same Excel source data that popped up when we first created the chart. So when you have actual data here, this is where you'll put that. And each of the pie slices will be in the rows in Excel, and then your data will be here in the column. And you can update this text here as you like it. I don't actually have any pie chart data today to share. So I'm gonna keep the default pie chart there for you. Okay, so we have a beautiful exploding 3D pie chart here made by ChatGPT. Go ahead and try ChatGPT for your own data viz and see how it can help you uh, either uh, be more productive in PowerPoint and your data viz or uh, maybe do some new things that you didn't really know uh, sort of existed or maybe actually discover some new ways that maybe ChatGPT knows about uh, that you might not know about yet as well. Okay, so I'm gonna actually just show this beautiful 3D pie chart one more time and Again, a disclaimer, don't use the 3D pie chart ever. Don't use an exploding three, uh, 3D pie chart ever. Um, but that said, you know, you know the rules, and sometimes once you know the rules, you know how to break them. So there could be a potential use for a 3D exploding pie chart. For instance, if you were visualizing survey results from the DataViz community on uh, the percentage of data wizards who hate 3D exploding pie charts, that would be one, maybe the only uh, appropriate use for a 3D exploding pie chart. All right, I hope you like this video. Uh, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and click the bell next to it. You'll get notified every time I post a new video in data design, Excel, PowerPoint, or Word. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.